Hi everybody, Gerdy van Woerd here, their Greatly Guiding Coach. With this video I want to introduce to you a new series that I'm doing. It's an interview series under the working title You Don't Have to Be Bear Grylls. First though, a little bit about myself. As a coach I work with people from all walks of life, but predominantly with entrepreneurs and people from corporate life. People who find themselves in an overstressed life who have come to the conclusion that they want to change something about that life but don't quite know where to start. We start, when they start working with me, we start by me taking them into the mountains first. Because I am a firm believer that if you're living an overstressed life, it is hard from within that life to see what it is that you want to change. So by taking them into the mountains, I give them an opportunity to completely leave behind everything that is causing to them stress, to immerse themselves in nature and to gain a completely different perspective on the life that they're living back home. That gives them the opportunity to decide how they want to change it and from there we, start, we, work, we continue to work together. This video series though is all about going into the mountains, going into nature as a hiker and doing it by yourself. Because I understand it completely when you say, well, Gerdy, I am very interested in changing things about my overstressed life, but I can do that by myself. I would love to go into nature by myself, but I, I don't quite know how to do that. Well, I know lots of people who often go hiking by themselves. Some of them women, some of them men, but all of them solo hikers. I thought it would be a really good idea to get ordinary people, people just like you and me, to tell us about their hiking experience, to tell us about how they got into hiking and what they get out of it. What it is that um, it brings them and why they always or sometimes just occasionally occasionally go into the mountains by themselves. What also comes into play is that I run into way too many people, in my uh, humble opinion, that are scared of immersing themselves into nature, especially when doing it by themselves. Now, and in my experience, it's not always easy to find someone who wants to go with you. If you decide, if I decide, that I'd really like to do a mountain hike, a particular hike, I will often see if I can find somebody that wants to come along, but if I can't. Over the years, I've gained the skills and the experience that give me the confidence to go into the mountains by myself. With this video series, with this series of interviews, I hope to inspire you, to inspire others like you, to go into nature by themselves and to discover that it doesn't have to be any more dangerous than crossing the street back home. In, as a matter of fact, I could argue that crossing the street back home, depending on where back home is, can be more dangerous than hiking in the mountains. So, I invite you to watch the first episode of this interview series. It's an interview with Callista Ocean. Callista hiked um, the Camino Santiago de Compostela, which is a pilgrim route to Santiago, Santiago in Spain. A really interesting lady, a fun interview to do, and um, I hope you'll go and watch it. Oh, and a PS. Should you be or should you know of a hiker that you think would be great for this video series, that has a story that could inspire others, and it doesn't have to be big and it doesn't have to be dramatic because we're ordinary people who like to be inspired by ordinary other people and who are nothing like Bear Grylls and do nothing as extreme as he does. I'd love for you to introduce them to me and to put them in touch with me so that I can interview them as well. For now, as always, go there greatly and should you be going outside somewhere be safe out there. Bye-bye.